Hello everybody, this is Roxy, and I've got a little Dollar Tree haul. There's a lot of new um, office product type stuff, which I was really surprised and excited to see. But first I'll just start with the Solar Dancer. I really wanted the lamb because his bangs were so cute. Um, and then what was the other one? A chicken? I think the chicken was coming out of a bucket, maybe. But all they had was the bunny. I mean, this is really cute, but why does he have a wand in his hand? I don't understand. Like, is he... Po oh! I think I got it. It's like the magician pulling a rabbit out of its hat. Is he pulling a chicken out of its egg? Because he's kind of standing on a pedestal. I wonder if that's what it's supposed to... That would be kind of cute if that's why, right? I mean, isn't it kind of look like that? I didn't understand why he had a one. So anyways, got one ham. <clears throat> and then I found, I don't know what I do with rubber bands, but we sure go through them a lot. So I always have my hubby I go bring, because I like the big fat ones. And I, you know, I'm always, like every month and a half, I bet, I call and say, bring some rubber bands home. So I thought, you know what? I'll just buy a bag and use, you know, a couple or whatever. So, got those. And then I found these. They had small ones too, but I kind of use the bigger ones more. Probably kick myself for not getting the small ones, but they're really pretty little colors. Really springy, Eastery. <clears throat> and then I found these. The Bulldog Clips. Or binder clips. I think we call them bulldog. But look at polka dots. And then they have this size. They had hearts in the, I think in that size too. Or else they had polka dots in this side. And then they had these striped ones. And I don't know if this is on purpose. But they look kind of distressed. They're kind of cool though. I got one set of each. Then I found these. This was more over near the craft area. But they look pretty significant. Sometimes these are, in fact, I'll just open them. Sometimes these are like really flimsy. But these looked kind of, but they may actually be worth it. Oh, come on. There. All right, so I'll just try them like this. Oh, they're good. I thought I was in camera, sorry. These are really good because, you know, sometimes they're not. Like the other fastener stuff they have. These are really good, though. These will be great for, um, like, using for craft projects when you need a closure. So that's exciting. I might go back and get more of those. So I always use them. And then they had mounting tape. I have not seen this. They have a roll that's not cut. And then they have this. And then they had a sheet like that. I wished it was a solid sheet because I thought it would be perfect for card making. But it was actually circles cut out. And then they had about like a two and a half by two and a half um, divided by four of full mounting tape. So that's kind of cool. I found a tacky glue. I literally, I have a bottle, a bigger bottle of, uh, probably an eight ounce bottle of Eileen's tacky glue. And I'm not kidding, I will swear on a stack of Bibles, I have had that bottle since 1983. And there's just, a, I mean, it's I've, it's never gone dry. I keep it in my um, junk drawer or my um, utility drawer in my kitchen. And I bet there's still this much left. Because I usually only use like a toothpick full time. You know, like to fix something that broke or a cup that broke or whatever. But I thought, you know, it's time to replace it. Although I really should see if I can take it with me when I die. But So I got that. 
then for something pretty, that isn't that pretty? It's like um, epoxied, and it has a little easel on the back that you can stand it up. And then there was another one about I love my mom or something. But I thought that was really pretty. I'm kind of old for following my dreams, but maybe not. And then they had a bunch of these, and I love this. Bacon, eggs, and milk. Isn't that cute? Little magnet. They had some really pretty ones. They had that one French, you know, the big really fat French chef. And then they had one that just had little things like this all over it. There was another one I was going to grab. What was that? Welcome to our kitchen. No, that's this one. Um, what was it? I cannot remember now. But there's about, I think, six different ones. But I thought that was the cutest. And it kind of is the colors. Like, that's literally the color of our kitchen. So that works for me. Then I found this. Oh, dang it, somebody opened it. I hope it's got all the pieces. Shoot. I'm so blind. Look at this. This is the one I got. There's a whole box full, and I grabbed the one that's open. So I hope everything's in here. But I thought this was kind of cool. A little spirograph. So you get these little spiral graphs. I love this game. I didn't have it, of course, but I had a friend that had it, so I'd play with hers and ruin it. No, I didn't ruin it. And then you can put pens and stuff. But I thought I'd try my um, new colorful pens that I bought last um, haul. Isn't that cute? Look at the little bow. I just thought that was kind of fun. It'd be really, <clears throat> excuse me, a cute um, Easter basket toy. Oh, duh. We put these inside. So I'm going to give this a try. Because it'd be kind of cute to do, um, you know, if you got some nice markers, that'll work. The pens and then just make some cute cards out of it. <clears throat> so that's cool. My allergies. And then I bought this. I have an idea for a, a Minnesota picture. There's a poem about Minnesota. I love it. I have it downstairs um, with um, a friend of mine gave it to me. But I'm gonna. I created some labels for uh, my camera books last winter um, for Christmas, and I I was on my silhouette, and I have a birch tree. Um, thing that has a little string hanging from it with the heart on it. So I created labels out of that. I made it into a circle and then put the first line of the poem on it. But I thought I would do a larger size with that whole poem, the entire poem, and see. I don't know what I'm going to do with the. <clears throat> I'm going to leave this gold. I do not know. Or if I'm going to paint it, like with some chalk paint. So we shall see. But I will show that in an upcoming video. Okay, and then I couldn't resist. If this tastes anything like the little um, hostess pies from my childhood, I will cry for my mama because I loved those little pies. Every day when I worked, I would get one. Actually, my girlfriend and I worked across from each other. We would each get one for lunch or like for after lunch, for our afternoon snack. And then we would just sit there and eat it and make nummy sounds and so I hope that tastes really good and then I found this I know it's more for me than my hubby but it's his birthday and I just thought it's so darn cute couldn't pass it by but he'll appreciate it he's a kid at heart too so that's my little hauls and I will get back to you on this and on this and on this and on how this works. So thanks for watching. Bye.